Welcome back to Videos by Mallory. Today we're going to continue with Chapter 12, Health and Medical Research. The specific section we're going to focus on is called the hu Human Genome Project. The Human Genome Project was completed in 2003. Um, it was a 13-year-old pro uh, year-long project coordinated by the U.S. Department of Energy and the National Institutes of Health. So it's an international collaborative project to map the functions of the human genome. The goal is to produce an online database um, of genes in which, which is accessible to anyone who with an internet connection. Um, the Human Genome Project offers the opportunity to increase global scientific understanding of our genome and perhaps develop tests and treatments for genetic diseases. Um, this collaborative effort has enabled understanding of the human genome to increase much more rapidly than scientists working in isolation. The compilation of all the scientists working together has really um, pushed the boundaries and um, made a lot more progress. Um, the project goals are to identify approximately 20,000 to 25,000 genes in a human DNA to determine the sequence of 3 billion chemical base pairs that make up the human DNA, store this information in databases, improve tools for data analysis, and transfer these related technologies into a private sector. Um, so through this, the HGP has analyzed um, a lot of the data and will continue to analyze it. An important feature was the federal government's long-standing dedication to the transfer of technology to the private sector. By licensing the technologies to private companies and awarding grants of innovative research, the project has flourished. Um, many social ethical issues related to the G HGP have arose. Um, the technology of genetics is rather um, controversial. Um, tests for genetic predispositions to diseases such as cancer and Alzheimer's um, are controversial because they have many implications in testing before birth. Uh, many tests are actually not 100% reliable and um, when parents get these tests done to their um, unborn babies, there can be, um, it can lead to abortions and um, just stagnation of pregnancies. So, and the, the next um, social ethical issue comes up is legal, o legal issues over the ownership of the gen genetic data. Um, several companies have tried to patent the d DNA sequences, um, treating them as intellectual property. But if any patient, or any patient data or DNA samples are stored in the database, privacy becomes an issue. Um, not everyone ha wants to have their um, specific test out for the public knowledge, and um, there's a, just a reliability and security issue that arises from that. So through this project, uh, just to reiterate, the project goals were to identify um, the 20,000 to 25,000 human genomes, and um, by licensing the technologies to private companies, 
um, innovative research was really spurred, which is interesting to see because usually with this type of innovative research, the government likes to keep it in-house, but by privatizing it, um, it was seen to be able to make, become much more innovative and also by licensing the technologies, it created a multi-billion dollar U.S. biotechnology industry and fostered the development of the new medical applications. So through this, it was seen to be much more innovative. Um, it's really important to know that when talking about um, different types of genomes and genetics, there are a lot of social ethical issues that have arose. Um, contributions from Japan, France, Germany, China, and others have also been used in the Human Genome Project. Um, it's important to see the cooperation of all these countries together. So through the project, it is seen that the genet genetics is a very controversial issue, granted, but through this, there has been a lot of technological advancements and research that have aided into what could become the future of um, designer babies and predicting genetics and um, being able to make test tube babies. So these are these are the resources that I used, and um, thanks for watching my video.